in very clear and strong terms, I have to refute the second point. I was and am still is very disappointed that my remarks in a totally private, exclusive session, which is a, a lunch actually, which clearly is subject to Chatham House rules, have been recorded and then passed to the media. I think this is um, quite unacceptable. Okay. So to further suggest or allege that myself or the government have any role to play in this thing is absolutely unfounded. So that point has to be made extremely clear. On the first point about resignation, I said on several occasions previously and also um, reaffirmed by my colleagues in the Chief Executive's Office in response to media inquiry that throughout this period, that is from the very beginning till now, I have never, I have never tendered a resignation to the central people's government. I have not even contemplated to discuss a resignation with the central people's government. The choice of not resigning is my own choice. Okay. But if you want to understand, because in a private session, I, I just attempted to explain that as an individual, given the very difficult circumstances, might be it was an easy choice to leave. But I told myself repeatedly in the last three months that I and my team should stay on to help Hong Kong and to help Hong Kong in a very difficult situation and to serve the people of Hong Kong. That remains my position. I know it is, um, it is not going to be an easy path and that's why I said that I have not given myself the choice to take an easier path and that is to leave. I'd rather stay on and walk this path together with my team and with the people of Hong Kong.